Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing Space Trash Scavenger today. Bravely, courageously sponsored by Paradox. So thank you for that. At the time this video is coming out, the game is just released into early access. So if you like what you see, and I think that you will, and you want to check it out for yourself, head on down to the link in the description, and you too can do some scavenging of trash in space. Like this guy. I think he's dead, but probably happy. Anyway, whatever. New game! So here we are in the great, vast world of Space Trash Thingamabob. Look at all this space trash. Space cylinders, space ice, space ashtrays, not to mention a beautiful planet, smaller asteroids, and so much more. And then there's us, standing on our one cube base that looks kind of like a server rack. Anyway, here's the point of this game. We have to make a base and then find a way to collect all this trash in the most efficient way we can. Or in my case, hopefully the most illogical, dumbest way possible. And God, I hope this thing up here is made out of cookie dough. Oh, and pay no attention to that computer. That was the tutorial. Don't worry, you don't need it. You've got me. Anyway, we're gonna expand our base, but first I want to show you one of the wild things about this game, which is that you can run on any side of your base. Help me, I'm gonna barf. Actually, I guess it's kind of like Super Mario Galaxy, and it's kind of nice because it means that we can build on any side, which also means we can build out our base in really interesting ways, because not only can we build straight across or off to the side, you know, like a normal looking Tetris block, but we can also stack and build higher and above us. Oh, the creations we're gonna be able to build. Oh, and these blocks are different types, too. We got these solar ones that are helping us get power. And then we got these socket ones here, which is how we're going to place some of our machinery. So the game lets us start with this thing right here called the atomizer. And it starts in this convenient little box. But we're going to unpack that, of course. And any powered item like it needs to go into a socket cube. You know, like right here. Or if that doesn't suit you, we can go around to the side and put it right here. Or we can put it right here that is technically kind of upside down, except nothing is really upside down. So let's put it there. Great. We did it. And we're going to be using this machine a lot because it's what allows us to take all this trash out here and turn into materials we can actually use for us to build a bigger and dumber looking base. So for starters, we're going to take our grapple gun and we're going to go around and see if we can't collect some trash. Shouldn't be too hard. There's a lot of stuff around here that's made of all kinds of fun materials. Like this thing will make us two iron cubits. Anyway, let's see. What do we want to do with this? Tractor or grapple? Tractor looks a little something like this where it comes to us and we suck it into our inventory. And that's kind of the easiest way, right? We can just stand here and pull this stuff in. We can even get one going and then go and grab a second one. Or we can go ahead and use grapple, which pulls us to the item. Oh, good. Now we're floating in space. Goodbye, space rig. We sure had a good run. That's okay. We're not stuck out here forever. First off, we can always look around and grab onto other stuff and pull ourselves over to it. Like this thing that I have dubbed cookie dough rock. And then we can come over here, switch to our telescanner, figure out what this is. And then once we know that, or even if we don't, we can switch to our mining laser and then just take what's ours, which is to say everything we can get our hands on. I did notice there's other beings around too, which so far hasn't been hostile, but it's a jelly entity. That sounds so friendly. Hello, are you friendly? Ow. Ow. Yes, not time to shoot you in the eye socket till you explode. Yeah, that'll teach you. And then we can collect these things too. And as far as I can tell, that's pretty much the first stage of this game. Scanning, mining, and collecting. What a fruitful planet this is. And then once we're done here, if we want to head back to our space rig, no problem, this thing on our back isn't just for good looks. It's also a jetpack. Yeehaw! Oh, out of fuel. You are stranded. Use fuel, wait for jetpack recharge, or disable your life support by pressing K. There is also the fourth option. Just become an object floating in space. Actually, wait, that does give me an idea. First, let's use our emergency jetpack power to get back over to the space rig. Once we have a little bit of inertia built up, I think that'll take us the rest of the way. Either way, once we get close enough, we can just tractor ourselves in. And then we're safe and sound back at our security blanket we call a base. Anyway, I do have a curiosity now. First, let's head back over to the atomizer. Let's feed it all of these things. All of these things that are essentially trash. That's going to break down into various types of cubits that we can use for stuff. Oh, there it goes. And it's spitting out little cubes to... Where? Oh, I see. It's shooting off the side and collecting on the other side. Gravity's so confusing. Okay, so now let's go through the thing where we go over and around, then up again, and... Oh, what is this? You need to eat. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. We do have some meters down at the bottom, including health, hunger, and jetpack fuel. And we're slowly but surely losing health because I think we're ultra hungry and also tired. Okay, well, first let's go over here and pick up all of our little cubits. And now that we've got some lovely building blocks, we're gonna build a couple of things. Which over here, we have different kind of cubes we can make, like regular 
regular ones and socket ones and solar ones, not to mention glass as well as support cubes. And all the other stuff we love like walls, windows, stairs, doors, etc. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for utilities. And by that I mean a biotank. It says all kinds of fancy words like biomaterials and growth factor, but what it means is it makes us food. Oh, and just to get you excited, you see these three things? I'm excited for these because they're conveyor belts. Move forward, move forward into the right, move forward into the left. My heart can't take this. But in order to get those things, we need to build them through something called the fabricator, which I just so happen to have because the game starts you with one. Okay, let's see. Before we place it, that arrow tells us which direction it's going to face, which of course we're going to have aim this direction because stuff spitting off on the side is always fun. And we immediately have a power problem where it needs this much and we don't have that much to spare. But that's okay because we have four more starting solar panel cube things we can put down. So we'll just kind of put these things out on the side just to make sure we have plenty of power. And now it's time to have it fabricate us a biotank. Yes, there it is. Thank you. And now it's time for us to place that biotank, which of course we're going to have dispense off the edge again. Okay, go ahead. Give us the good stuff. Thank you. And now we'll just wander our way over here so that we can pick up the food as it comes out. Mmm, delicious algae. Nummy, nummy, num. Good thing it doesn't fill our food needs very much. I wanted to make sure we could eat a lot of it. I love watching this stuff work. We've got the atomizer spitting stuff out on that side down there. And we've got this thing spitting out food over here. And I believe another thing that we needed to do was back over here at the fabricator is we gotta make ourselves a bed. Yes, please give me a bed. <laughs> Once again, thank you. Okay, let's see. Build on solid surface, huh? What about this? Will this do can only build on flat terrain and like I realize they're saying like yeah this will work but what about that thing way out there I don't know let's head over to it and find out I don't care if we're out of fuel we can just float our way there what is this thing anyway yeah thanks Captain Obvious I know it's a wreckage but I guess I asked indestructible and unexplored so it holds space secrets I can't wait anyways we get closer let's see if we can use our bed on this ow ow Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Hey, you, you stop that. Ah! Well, that'll teach me. The good news is you respawn. The bad news is most of your stuff is with your dead body, which is why we're just gonna head back like nothing happened in the first place. This time, I'm gonna have my mining laser ready, and I'm just gonna fire it indiscriminately until this thing shows up again. Ha-ha! And not just giving us precious resources, but we're gonna use that to grapple onto it to get us over to our dead body. Everything's working out for us. Just not that version of us. Come here, let's pull you in. Let me have all my stuff stuff back. And then our body gets sucked inside us, as intended. Anyway, back to all this bed stuff, which in conclusion, you're not allowed to build your bed on some random object. Well, while we're here, we might as well take a look around, see what kind of secrets are hidden from us. Okay, so it looks like we got a massive interior, which we're gonna slingshot into with short bursts from our jetpack. And if we see anything bad, we're just gonna shoot it with our mining laser. Hopefully for lucky, all eye shots. And then it's back to the grapple gun to take this thing and steal their soul. I'm sorry, their squid entity. And then we just float around looking for debris to steal. I mean, scavenge. And after doing some lovely looking around trying to find stuff, we can just gently float away, enjoy the sights, and ow! Must you ruin everything? And now to float back home so we can finish what we were doing, which is trying to find the perfect place for a bed. I think I know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna place a block here, and then one here, and here, and then we're gonna place our bed right here on the end of the whole stack. There we go. That way we get plenty of sun while we're trying to sleep. Nighty night. You cannot sleep unless you build a roof over your bed. Curse is foiled again. Fine, how about instead of that, we just launch ourselves into space? I know we're out of fuel. I just don't care. So instead, we're just gonna see how far we can get before we flee this mortal coil. Also, I don't know, but this feels like a really good time to get some shut-eye. Why not just sleep while you drift through space? Wow, everything is so far away from here. Still floating. Still floating. If I use my little scope, we can see that everything is obviously still there. Just a lot farther away. Yep, still going. Everything's just kind of a glob in the distance. A mere 18,000 miles away, which honestly in the States is only like 11 miles. That's like we're about to die in the same neighborhood still. Oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. Bye. Blah. Ah, fresh new body. And I'm glad to know our other body is still out there. That said, I don't think I'm going to go retrieve it. I think it's a little too far away. Anyway, we could go ahead and make a roof for this bed, but I think I'd like to spend that time trying to make our rig a little bit more exciting. We're also going to have to set this thing up, which is the blueprint shop. Hooks up to the scab 
have Corp Network allowing you to buy new blueprints. And we don't have enough stuff to buy it quite yet, which means it's time to gather some supplies. And while we're out here, we might as well investigate whatever this is. Oh boy, another journey. And as we're floating our way over there, we'll go ahead and destroy some of this stuff so we can suck up the minerals. Come on, come on, give me that piece. Wait, 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 uh oh. Oh well, we're here. At least we littered even more in space. Let's go ahead and check this out. Whoa, what in tarnation? Set phasers to kill. Fiddlesticks, it's not responding to my diplomacy. I guess we'll have to fall back on, ugh, talking. Hey there, little guy. Wow, I haven't seen many people out here in a while, but it's blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, it's like a little quest. Because he's talking about the stock market, and now he wants us to find him 5x steel. And we'll do it, but only because they're going to give us this furnace blueprint. Which means we may or may not do it, but we will keep the blueprint. It's a shame I can't go through his things. Or destroy them. I would take either. And once we're done doing a whole bunch of scavenging, it's time to depart for more pillaging opportunities. Oh boy, more stuff. Brace yourself, re-entry is a little twisty. Ugh. Ah, we picked up an airlock hatch escape pod. That means maybe someone didn't make it. Well, their loss is our gain. There's something really satisfying about being on these little asteroids and just knowing you're taking everything valuable for yourself. And then it's onward to whatever this thing is. And here we are. I do really love that if you want to search around really quick, you can just hop off the asteroid, get a better look, come back down, and flank that ice. Never saw it coming. And also... What the heck might this thing be? Yes, we gotta go check it out. But before we do that, let's go back to base. Because I have all this stuff in my inventory and I don't want to lose it immediately. And I just realized I don't have anywhere to put it yet. But as I look to the stars for inspiration, I realize we have all the containers we need right here. We'll just let our body expire and that's gonna be our container. After all, it's not gonna be long now. And scene. Ah, and here we are with a fresh body. Can't say the same about this one. Don't go too far now, okay? I'm gonna need all those supplies later. Anyway, back on over to this thing. Closer, closer, and grab on. All right. Ow! Well, I guess that wasn't the front door, but we'll find it, don't you worry. And that's okay, because slingshotting around is a lot of fun. Well, this looks like the entrance. Oh boy, another one of you. Hello there. I suppose you want to scavenge this derelict freighter, huh? Forget about it, it's full of entity. Plus, it's locked and I've got the only entry pass. How about you clear out this ship for me? Borrow my laser rifle and take a clip. Sounds good, I didn't read any of the other text. Really, this was your rifle? It's hard to imagine you holding this thing. Well, either way, can I eliminate you? Fine, okay, let's go do this. Oh, just waiting for me, huh? Good thing I have this fresh body to absorb all the bullets. And pretty much we just go through this place, murder everything that we find, and per usual, collect scrap. And occasionally you'll come across stuff like this. Sweet, sumptuous corn. Hey, buddy, I eliminated all the threats. Well, you got me some historical data disks. You ready to hand them over? I sure am not. I'll think about it, though. And also, thanks for the rifle. And here, have a couple more warning shots for the road. Well, let's head back to home base, which is right where it says scavenge dead body. Hey, speaking of, can I just go through the planet? I don't even know what it's made out of. I don't know, to the naked eye, it seems pretty solid. Getting closer, getting closer. You are burning up. You know, in hindsight, I think I was wrong. I think this thing might be a gas planet. <laughs> well, here we are again. Oh, and good news. The planet spit out my body. It's now happily right here for me to collect. You shouldn't have been so careless, other me. Hey, wait, can I actually use this to slingshot myself back the other way? Oh, I guess I can. Can I drag this thing back to my base? Wow, I didn't realize my tether could go this long. It normally can't. 300 meters away. Yep, here we go. Let's pull it all the way back to the rig. Ah, here we go. Arms casually crunched backwards. Oh, good. Look, we're slowly, slowly pulling it in. Aren't you excited, other dead body? Soon you're going to have have a friend. Come on. Okay, almost there. Almost there. And another successful retrieval. Oh, and I gave myself a little kiss. You know what I wish I could do with these bodies? I've got these other two guns I haven't really used yet, including this thing called the packing tool, and also the repair tool. It's a shame we can't just repair our old bodies, or even better, use the packing tool to pack them back up. But, you know, that's wishing for two. Whoa! What the heck just happened? Let's take a closer look so we can see. Well, I can see from my inventory that I packed up that cube that was right there. Although that doesn't really explain all the other stuff lying around. I also don't remember packing up a satchel like I was gonna go do some teaching. Well, let's pick it up and see what it is. And it looks like I have an old-style treasure chest in my inventory. And if I mouse over it, it does say it's a container. Wait a minute, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Just in case, I'm gonna unpack this container and we'll see what we get. 
<laughs> oh. Well, that confirms my thought. The container I'm holding is, in fact, my corpse. And I can't actually place this thing anywhere. So you would think to yourself, what good is this if you can't actually use it? Oh, but you can. At least I think so. Oh, atomizer. Would you do me the honor of crunching up this body? Yep, there it goes. Converting my corpse into resources. Ten iron and five aluminum cubits, to be exact. I'm so amazed that worked. So to confirm, we can't use our packing gun and just pack down our body. Unless, of course, we want to aim for the cube it's sitting on. And then if we do that, it'll gladly explode with whatever was on the body. And then also turn into a treasure chest, which we can then atomize. Well, isn't that exciting? I think we just found our ticket to a couple of precious resources. So first off, let's restore the pieces that we destroyed. And now that this is made whole again, let's continue to expand this structure. Looks like we're going to be using walls and windows and stuff after all. So we'll put one here and here and all around, really. So far, so good. And now to add a little bit of a roof. Ah, uh, yeah, that's perfect. Never mind the vacuum of space seeping inside. We'll just make it a whole thing like we meant to do it. Except on this last one. We're gonna rotate this one to look like this. Just so that nobody is happy. And finally a door. So that we can hold back our dark secrets. You know, these ones. Yep, there they are. Our most prized possessions. I know it's hard to see what's going on here with all of the scavenged dead body labels, but rest assured, there's a lot of, um, harvestability in here. And whenever we need more supplies, well, we just pull one out. Come on, come on. There you go. And then when it's kind of at a resting spot, that's when we pull out the packing tool, give that cube underneath them a nice zap, and then go in and grab whatever's left behind. And then into the incinerator it goes. As an added benefit, too. The edges of our screen will forever remind us of the bodies. I love like it. And what a healthy pile of my corpse pieces. It's like dipping Dots, except cubes and forbidden. Now to siphon it all up. Mmm, get inside. Okay, great. Now we have some minerals to work with. Thank you so much, corpse barn. You're welcome. Okay, first things first, let's go back to the fabricator and let's build us this blueprint shop so we can have even more fun. And where are we going to put this? Who cares? As long as we can reach it, it doesn't matter. Look at all these fun new parts we could have for our base. If we cared about aesthetics, I mean. Ooh, and look at these things. Succulents? A rug? Five things that are not available in this quadrant? What quadrant? Oh, I didn't even realize we have a quadrant map. Oh, oh wow. So this is us. And 1.41 light years away, we have this asteroid cluster. Or we have this mineral rich cluster. Or we have a shipyard. But that's okay for now, we're just here with the drop zone. Or you can see its official name over here, Dilf. But we have to at least get to another cluster. And I think over here in the items and ammo gives us a sneak peek as to what it's gonna take. Because there's an item here called jump drive fuel. Balance to provide faster than light travel when used with a jump drive. And it requires one entity base qubit, which might honestly be this thing right here. I mean, it says entity nano factory and it's got a thing floating around. Actually, why wait? Let's just go check it out right now. Also, good news, I forgot my rifle. So we're just gonna use the mining laser. That's what we call being prepared. Hello, it's me. Yep, and here I am on the planet with some new friends. Can't tell how many of these there are because they keep shooting at me. But I'm just gonna shoot at this weird looking cube and I'm sure everything will turn out just fine. Ow! I died. Okay, maybe I'll just uh, stay here with the blueprint shop and explore some more options before I go back over there. And by options, I think I see some things I like. For example, the trash to beam. Tractor beam trash at a small distance to your rig. Not to mention the turret. Defend your space rig using turrets. And thrusters. Thrust force to move your rig. Well, I think we got goals now. Let's get this thing into shape. Unfortunately, blueprints aren't cheap. Like once we have the blueprint, it's not that expensive to make. But to buy the blueprints, we gotta use credits. This thruster cone alone is 2,000 credits, and we only have 234, and a good way for us to make credits is this thing right here, the stock market. If we go back to our inventory, we have a tab for the stock market, and we got all kinds of stuff, like stuff we can farm, like corn, as well as materials we can make, like glass and mirrors and plastic and steel and whatever, and other more exotic parts, like sensors and CPUs. And in order to make that stuff, we have to unlock a couple blueprints. For example, we have these things here, like the chem for that produces glass, plastic, substrate matrices, and everybody's favorite nighttime snack, plutonium pellets. And also like this thing, the assembler, which makes all kinds of other stuff we can use for probably things, but also to sell. But even here, we're getting ahead of ourselves. The assembler alone is 5,000 credits, and the chem forge is even 500, so we can't afford either. So we're gonna focus on a thing that we actually already have, thanks to that one guy that we took a job from and then never went back to. Which is to say, we already have a furnace unlocked that'll let us make steel and hard 
hardened alloy. So we're gonna start by making one of those. Ah, the beginnings of automation. And while I'm tempted to take this thing and put it like right here to give this space maximum congestion, I'm actually gonna build it a little ways away. You know, to give us room to horse around and also to give us some slight distance from all the dead bodies. I can't even look at that part of my base without giggling. Oh, and I forgot we have power needs, which means we need more solar cubes. And we'll just kind of throw these all over the place, which is probably not how I'm supposed to do this, but who cares? I'm sure bobbing and weaving is how you get the most out of your solar panels. And it's also making our base look amazing. Anyway, the furnace is working now and we can now make steel or hardened alloy. Obviously, we could put those things in by hand, but obviously that's not how we're going to do it. Okay, maybe we'll do a couple because I can't even afford to buy the traster beam yet. And without that, I can't get the automation started anyway. All right, fine. Here you go. And I'll just stand a little distance away while you spit out. Oh, cute little bars. I love it. Yeah, just keep piling them up. Okay, that seems like a nice healthy pile. Now to suck it all into my body. I'm gonna assume I have to go to the stock market to sell. I sure hope so or I'm gonna feel real dumb. Okay, you do land on it. Hello, awkward space computer. I'm here to conduct space business. Okay, and you take these. Oh boy, I made so much money. I mean, I didn't, but it's enough to get started. And I'll add more stuff to the furnace anyway so that it keeps making a nice little pile for me later. Okay, and now it's time to unlock that one thing. The Traster Beam. I'm so excited excited. And now that that's unlocked, right on over here to the fabricator to make our exciting new purchase. And by that, I mean, we're going to make a lot of them. Why settle for one when we can have excess? Now, I don't know about optimal positioning, but I do know we need to put them on a socket cube. So we're going to put that right over here and then we'll just slap one here. Oh, look, and it's already doing its thing. Oh, good. Yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Grab my steel bars and bring them over. You're already doing the greatest gift you ever could. Well, I'm already convinced. So I'm going to put this one facing this way. And then we'll put the next one right here facing up. And then we'll put another one on top facing right. And then another one on this side facing over here. I'm hoping what that means is as it drags stuff in, it'll pull this around like it's a conveyor belt. Well, and now that I saw that, I'm convinced that is indeed not the case. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess it's perfect as is, right? Uh-oh, look out, you're gonna lose that piece of steel. Good catch. Okay, I think I know how we can redo this. Let's take back this one. In fact, let's take all of them except the one that's pulling the steel. That one's doing very important work. And we'll go ahead and make some blocks that go all the way over here. And now we're a ways away. Let's go ahead and put down another socket thingy, followed by another one of these thingies. Ah, yes, excellent. It's doing what I hoped it would do. Bringing the steel back over here now. And let's put some blocks up here. And higher. And higher. And then another socket. And then another grabby thing. Okay, so I think I might have gone a little overboard. And I might have built multiple things. All in the name of moving resources. And boy howdy how everything is moving. Everywhere you look, something is being transferred to somewhere else. And that's because now there's little tractor beams everywhere. And as you can see, there are some real resources in there. But a lot of it is just recirculating around. Which is obviously fine by me. All I wanted to do is create a mess. And occasionally we get a big bulky piece that we can't actually tractor in. And if it gets a little too close to our base, well... That happens. And then it does break down into bite-sized chunks that we can digest. But then I gotta fly in here and do a little repairing. And my favorite thing about this is it's not actually helping us develop anything to get credits. But that's okay. You've probably noticed that stuff like this furnace has the really big red port. And then there's this blue one where I believe we can feed it minerals. So I guess now it's time to take this whole system and hook it up to conveyor belts so we can actually get materials over to that thing. So as a reminder with the furnace, we need to be able to feed it iron and carbon. Which means taking all this random crap that's being collected, atomizing it down, and then separating out the parts we need and feeding it into this machine. And we already do have an atomizer, which is right here. So that's where we're going to feed everything. First, let's head over to our fabricator and fabricate a whole bunch of conveyor belts. Should be easy enough for us to take this and whoa, easy there, cowboy. Well, I probably should have seen this coming. I guess I'll just have to stand right in front of this thing so they go right into my face. Oh God, where do we begin? I guess we'll go up there where that pool noodle is, just so we can gather our bearings while things are still quiet. Okay, so if this thing is capturing stuff and then moving it up, it makes sense then that we put the conveyor belts all going up as well. Yep, and it generally looks like that's working. As we can see by that one piece that's trying to get away and keeps getting pulled back in. So we'll put another one right here, and then we'll aim one to the right, and then another one leading down. Yep, so far so good, kinda. And then another one beneath it, and then another one up the other side, and all the way up here, and here, and down the side, and then around the other side. Yes, this is not excessive at all. And it's pretty much going to be a lot of this all the way back. And I can't imagine this will work, but let's hope for the best. 
Oh, hey, it actually worked. Color me surprised. And let's build a conveyor belt right here to get all these minerals moving out of the way. And then these cubes continue their lovely journey before going through this entire other conveyor belt system all the way down there. And then there's kind of like a choke point right here. But as you can see, everything is working exactly as intended. And nothing is getting snatched by anything else. And then this thing right here separates out the things we need for the furnace and the things we don't need. The stuff we don't need just sits here and eventually gets snatched up anyway. So it works out just fine. And then a bunch of stuff gets stuck on the other side here, but most of it eventually makes it over. Where it follows this other conveyor belt all the way to the end here. And those little cubes topple over the other side before being either stolen or finding their way over to the furnace, which spits out a bunch of steel, which is then immediately stolen. And then it finds its way circulating once again. Ah, the steel circle of life. And I can't believe it, but everything's working kind of smoothly. I mean, it's hard to follow where anything is. But as it turns out, let's head back over to the stock market. Definitely a fruitful endeavor. Behold, we're rich now. Well, rich enough anyway, which is good because now we can make some additional improvements. There's still plenty of trash that we just can't reach, which leads us to the next things we're going to unlock. First up are thrusters so we can start moving this thing around. In addition, we need to unlock the rig control unit, which we're going to need for piloting. And lastly, we're going to unlock these turrets for shooting stuff. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Anyway, before we start adding turrets, I think we need to make our base look a little bit more formidable. So give me a second. I'm going to add some more to it. Hold, please please. Okay, so I tried to fix this up a little bit. I don't know if it's menacing, but it sure is something. If we look at it from the side, it's got all kinds of forking little points, which is probably where we're going to put the turrets. Either way, I feel like everything's starting to come together. And as an added bonus, these things are really fun to use for swinging around. Makes it a lot more fun to get around, I can tell you that much. So now it's time to add the turrets. Each one at the end of one of these prongs. Don't worry, this won't take very long at all. Just got to slam it each one of these. Walk over the side. Put one of these things down. Add a turret along the top. Okay. Okay, I think that's all of them. Feels like it took forever, but we did it. And now with all of this figured out, it's time to go to the other end of our base and add in some thrusters. Oh, good news. I don't have to put them in sockets. Well, then the sky's the limit, isn't it? I hope the game is okay with me just putting these like wherever I feel like, because that's definitely the plan. I'm sure my base is going to be smart enough to figure it out on its own. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. Put one there and then also put one here. The thrusters of my dreams. I'm glad the game is stopping me from adding a third. Like somehow how that's going to be the real problem. Well, at least the game lets me put one here and then also one facing into the other one. Fiercest ship in the galaxy. Okay, there we go. Everything's looking perfect. This definitely looks up to code. And now the last thing we need to figure out is where to put the steering wheel. I want to say this probably makes the most sense because then we get a front row seat of what we're driving towards. Yeah, this will be a good spot for it. A perfect spot for us to do some piloting. Wow, this is going to steer the whole thing. And just for good luck, let's put a thruster right there just to give us some motivation while we fly. Okay, buckle up. It's time to ride. Okay, so I'm noticing a couple of things as I pilot. One, I accidentally face the steering wheel backwards. And second of all, the frame rate seems to have altered a little bit, which I'm totally okay with. Okay, hang on. First, let's fix this. Put it on the correct way. You know what? That actually looks way more correct. Glad we fixed that. Let's do this. Oh yeah, it's time to ride. Thruster set to max. Well, it appears to be working. We are definitely steering and moving around. And now let's set our sights on that entity planet. Let's get over there and show them who's boss. Onward to extremely slow victory. Oh yeah, victory's at hand. I can feel it. Quick, get them. Use your lasers with great force. Shoot them with the lasers that I set up that I thought would be awesome and aren't doing anything. Alright, fine, whatever. Just hit them with the ship then. There's our target. We gotta get that thing. Their little maze thing. That's the key. That's what we gotta get. Come on, get in there, ship. You're doing great. Oh, there we go. I think we got it. Now ease off that throttle. Well, easy, easy. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Can you stop? Your planet's already dead. Well, I do believe we've claimed this asteroid as our own. It's definitely part of our spaceship now. And if I recall, when we blew up that cube thing, it gives us a piece we need to make fuel for our jump drive, which now I have no idea where it went. Is this it? What the hell is this? Nope, just garbage. Well, I'm sure it's here somewhere. It's probably already somewhere in my ecosystem here. Well, this is a good place to stop, if any. At the time of this video coming out, this game just came out in early access. And honestly, I've had a great time with this one. So if it looks fun to you and you want to check it out for yourself, there's a linky in the description to find out more. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. Thanks again to Paradox for sponsoring this one, and I'll see you next time.